In this video, we're going to solve optimization problems in a business or economics context. And it says, suppose that a revenue function is given as r of x equals 9,925x, and a cost function is given as c of x equals this uh, cubic for x greater than or equal to 5. And x is the number of items. So we have to at least have five items. And x represents the number of items, which means we're going to have to have a whole number of items. We can't have a decimal for this answer. What production level x maximizes profit? Your answer should be a, the whole number that corresponds to the highest profit. So they want us to maximize profit. Well, profit is equal to the revenue of your company minus the cost of your company. In our case, that would make it 9925x minus x cubed plus 500x squared minus 4192x plus 8713. When we distribute that, we get p of x is equal to, this will be negative we get 9925x minus x cubed minus 500x squared plus 4192x at negative, yep, negative, positive, negative. And then let's combine some stuff together. So this 9925x can combine with the 4192x. And we get negative x cubed minus 500x squared. Let's combine those together. And we get 14, 117x, 14,117x minus 8,713. And that's p of x. If we want to maximize profit, what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of the profit equation, set it equal to zero. So we're going to do p prime of x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 1,000x plus 14,117. Let's set it all equal to zero. And we end up with needing to use the quadratic formula here. Oop, that's 1,000. So let's say that x, which remember x is the number of items, is it going to equal negative b plus and minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we get negative, negative 1,000 um, plus minus root. So b squared would be negative 1,000 squared minus 4 times a, which is negative 3, times c, which is 14, 117. All divided by 2 times negative 3. So we end up with 1,000 plus minus root. Let's plug it in the calculator. 1,000 squared plus 4 times 3 times 14, 117. We had two negatives there. That's why I said plus. And then do the square root. And we get 1,000. So this would actually be the square root of 1, 1, 6, 9, 4, 0, 4. All over negative 6 which then gives you, uh, if we write that a little better, that'd be 1,000 plus minus 1,081.39 over negative 6. So then I'm going to go ahead and write up here that x is going to equal 1,000 plus 1,081.39. 0.39 over negative 6, or 
x equals 1,000 minus 1,081.39 divided by negative 6. Okay, when I plug those in, I get negative 346.89. And then I get 13.56. Now, this will not work because we have to have, this is uh, the number of items. We can't have a negative 346 items. So we're going to cross this one out. They tell us 13.56 items. We cannot have 13.56 items. We have to either have 13 or 14 items. So what we need to do is we need to plug in uh, for our original equation, P of X, we're going to plug in both 14, so we're going to say, using this equation, we're going to say P of 13, and we're also going to say P of 14. See which one's higher, and that will be our uh, maximum profit. So we're going to plug that equation in. Thirteen to start gives you eighty eight thousand one hundred and eleven dollars. Now plug in fourteen. That's eighty eight thousand one hundred eighty one. So you can see the maximum profit would be fourteen items here.